friends and welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I would like to introduce you to the three most important videos I believe exist on YouTube in the capacity of shooting people, right? Portraiture and so forth. Okay, so if let's say you've all your life you've been shooting architecture and landscapes and maybe some macro work, uh, still life. So you want to make the transition now to shooting people. Okay, got it. So let me introduce to you three videos which I feel are probably the most important videos that you can find on YouTube to assist you with shooting with strobes. Okay, so we're, n we're not only shooting people, but we're shooting people in a studio type setting with, with strobes and light modifiers. Okay, so the first one here, the first one is published by Ellen Crom. It's called Ellen Crom Light School Basic. So what they do is they use their own equipment, of course. They want to plug their own equipment. But they walk you through some different scenarios here of what happens when you raise the light, what what effect will it have on shadows on the nose and on the hair, the different highlights on the hair, then when you turn it on axis to, to, to get more shadows. So they really walk you through what 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 a manipulating a light modifier will do to your effect on the subject's face okay so this is a really critical video I think it's probably I would recommend this the most because it's again if you're pressed for time it's only six minutes and it'll do wonders for your photography okay and I'll link to these below in the show notes next is a two videos actually by Joey Quintero so let me give you the background real quickly on, on Joey Quintero Joey Quintero used to to live and work out of Arizona as a wedding photographer and he got the bug. He wanted to move to New York. He wanted to make it in the big city. So he moved to Manhattan. And God bless him. He did it. Uh, you know, he had the courage to just pack up and move. So he got a job on the sales floor at B&H. And he was selling equipment. And then he started, in his off time, he started assisting other well-known photographers, right? And he learned from them. So what happened is now, uh, over time, Joey was promoted through the ranks. And and B and H basically started up their own house brand called Impact, right? So we're kind of familiar with Impact with Impact strobes and light modifiers, and C stands and so forth. So, anyways, B and H started up this this gratis group, and under the gratis group, I believe is Impact, right? So it's kind of multi-tiered. So Joey is heading up Impact and in, in the gratis group, but he also does here. They they bring in guest lectures from around the world on the second floor. I'll show you a photo here. As a matter of fact, just let me just bring it in right now so I can just show you. So here is B&H store on 33rd and 9th on Manhattan. So you can see here this is the main sales floor and up here they have the windows all dark and they you know they have some something in the windows here and this is where they conduct their event space where guest lecturers come in and present their material. So not only do they sell equipment and so forth but they they also uh, are in the business of developing people, right? Professional development, community outreach, which I think is fantastic. So, anyways, the second floor there is where the e the event spaces, and this is where Joey is now with this model. He's on the second floor, and they're conducting the event space. So, this is called Light It and Shoot It. It's two and a half hours long, but it is highly beneficial to you to watch this. It's just a tremendous video on how to shoot models and work with light meters and strobes. And, but again, it's kind of a continuation of the Ellen Crom. Right, it's much more advanced. So he talks about lighting ratios and the placement of the strobe. And you can see here he called in a model, and he's photographing the model. And then this is on a tether, and it, they're sending it to Lightroom to examine. And in th in this uh, room, they have a uh, some display set up where the image is going to Lightroom and it's being broadcast so that people in the room can see the effect of what he's doing. Right, it's instantaneous. They can see it displayed on a wall each photograph that he takes and so he'll adjust the strobe right turn it left turn it right raise it lower it uh, adjust the iso adjust aperture whatever and so anyways it's it's an instant feedback tool for people there in the room to see it and you can also see it in the video so it's a tremendously powerful video again it's called light it and shoot it and the next one is a continuation this is more intermediate it's uh, intermediate lighting and again I'll link to it below Joey d basically does the same thing. This was no, the first one was filmed in March of 2012, and this was two months later, May 2012. He had a, a more advanced event space, right? It's the, kind of the same principle. He brought in the same model. This woman here, she's the same model, and you can see here he's showing people how to use a light meter, and he's got he's doing a shoot through umbrella. So it's a little bit more advanced, and this one is an hour and a half. So, th with the three videos that Ellen Crom 
uh, Joey's part one and part two all together are about four hours but it's an incredibly powerful four hours for you because it's in the name of self-development uh, professional development and it will truly do wonders for your photography these three videos have done wonders wonders for my photography because again when I was new I entered this in 2010 shooting people and I, did, I really didn't know so I looked to YouTube for some assistance right I looked to YouTube as a, a library of professional development and I found what I was looking for it took me a long time to find these three videos and to see the quality because there's a lot of stuff out there right so I had to whittle it down to okay what is what is really of substance and what is useful and it was these three videos so again I thank you for your time and I will link below to these three videos and please watch them because they're absolutely tremendous videos okay thank you so much and have a great day